Seismologists at Caltech are continuously monitoring that area. They're warning of more aftershocks in the coming days. CBS 2's Christy Fajardo live in Pasadena with the latest on this. Good evening, Christy. Yeah, good evening. And we're not just talking a few aftershocks, but hundreds of them in coming days. In fact, seismologists here at Caltech really haven't had much of a holiday weekend. They've been up in the lab in front of computers, crunching the numbers, and warn a five point magnitude or higher is almost a certainty in the Ridgecrest area. But take a look on the plus side, the probability of another 7.0 or higher has dropped from five. To 3%. Even so, USGS and Caltech seismologists warn a six point or greater in the next few days is possible, roughly a one in four chance. In other words, rich stress should brace for more. And what you are seeing right now is the damage to Highway 178. There are actually fissures where the ground broke open by a couple of inches. From the air, you can see what look like scars on the ground. That's how violently it shook. And seismologists say this is all coming from two fault lines. That intersect. So, what does this all mean for us here, more than 100 miles away? We ask the experts. But in, in some respects, these earthquakes, we are lucky in that the energy in them is mostly going to the north, away from Los Angeles. Uh, if they were rupturing from north to south, then there would be more likelihood uh, to have damage in, say, Palmdale or uh, other areas that are a bit closer than, say, downtown LA to this activity. And the other big question, of course, in the LA area is about the Shake Alert LA app. In fact, we went onto the App Store, and these are some of the negative reviews that are being left behind. It failed to deliver, it's useless. But seismologists say it didn't go off by design, say it only goes off when the damage, or rather the intensity of an earthquake in an area, is strong enough to produce damage. Of course, that was not the case here in the greater Los Angeles area. Live in Pasadena, I'm Christy Fajardo, CBS 2 News. All right, Christy, thank you.